Good afternoon, everyone. 18th century, Aurora's from Japan. Medicaid continues its march eastward. Massive flooding in Greece. UK, colder than Moscow. Northern Scotland, plummeting temperatures. Unusual typhoon forming in South China Sea. South Africa, another winter storm as they head into summer. Geoengineering proponents, we're just going to limit the warming by using geoengineering. Next week, plummeting temperatures all the way down to Florida in the U.S. And NASA tries to tell us that there's so much smoke, sea salt, and dust in the atmosphere that it formed these last three hurricanes. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to ADAPT2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Talking about the ever-changing climate on our planet, 18th century writings talk about geomagnetic storms across Japan so powerful that they were seen in the southern islands of Japan, 1770. This is the end coming out of the Maunder Minimum. And we know well that descending into and coming out of these grand solar minimums, there's an increase in volcanism, earthquakes, and effects from the sun, CMEs, this is a direct result. They've actually cataloged it. Now when I talk about our atmosphere changing due to the grand solar minimum, these are the effects you're gonna be looking for. There are so many things happening right now that if you're looking for CO2 induced effects, you're looking in the wrong direction. You need to be looking at the grand solar minimum to explain everything that's happening right now. The Medicaid in the Mediterranean Sea still marching eastward dumping record snows over Italy, massive floods over Greece. Satellite image for you here. Although it's dissipating, the amount of water that is dropping out of the atmosphere termed an atmospheric compression event continues through Greece. And for the naysayers saying, oh, in England and the UK, it's so warm these days. It's, oh, I'm wearing shorts outside. Yeah, you're wearing shorts outside. Frosty morning temperatures below Moscow temperatures overnight. Images for you here from northern Scotland. That snow is going to continue southward. Although Scotland is the first to be hit with this snow and ice, hang loose. The rest in the UK, you're going to be pummeled as well over the next two days. And our favorite subject, geoengineering proponents, talk about let's alleviate the concerns to the public by using geoengineering, spraying our skies with nanoparticulate metals just to limit warming. Don't worry, it's all good. They've already identified 14 possible injection sites at seven different latitudes and two different altitudes. And eat your breakfast cereal with this. It's all good. Keep paying your taxes. We're just going to save the environment. We're going to spray the skies. So you have to wonder if some of these things that we're also seeing here, in addition to the grand solar minimum and the stratospheric aerosol geoengineering, second layer, Cosmic radiation management isn't also having some effect in our jet streams. Case in point, another winter storm. We just saw one last week in Australia dumping snow a few weeks before summer officially starts. Now we have a second massive winter storm rolling over South Africa weeks before summer begins. It's just really interesting how all these things are dovetailing at the same time. Jumping over to Asia, out of season typhoon, and it's really far south. Typhoons don't normally form this far south even during typhoon season. That is so far south, that's down near Cambodia, it just normally does not form. Unusually rare in November, but unusually southern location for it to form. And then here comes NASA trying to tell us the worst three hurricanes this season are all due to smoke, sea salt, and dust in the atmosphere. They never mention going back into the 1980s, going back into the 1930s to look at the hurricanes that formed then in a cyclical pattern. 
David Dilly does a great job tracking down the cycles in hurricane formation. But anyway, incredible graphics here, regardless of the take that NASA has on our influence on the environment. Jumping over to the U.S., long-term forecast coming out for next week. Look how far south that cold is going to dip, right into Florida. And again, talking about the same time frames that I showed you with the aurora in Japan, the Native American Indians, the Seminole Indians, called it the Great White Rain. They talked about when it snowed in the Everglades in Florida. And you just have to ask yourself, is there any correlation going into the Grand Solar Minimum with this intensification of cold over the Florida Panhandle, down in through Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee? And a blast from the past. Since we were talking about the past, I wanted to bring back to Idaho because another subscriber sent me. This is the second time this week I've received the same link from the January 26th article talking about massive snows collapsing buildings in Idaho. Same areas are receiving massive snows again. Same areas have received massive snows early this year, and I think that's the reason they passed it on. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. I've been picking up on these news feeds and following these types of stories for years. This week is an incredibly strange week in our atmosphere. I just can't describe it to you, but something has just shifted.